would like to officially start off tonight's launch by I would like to request our chief guests to kindly come and unveil the logos for all of the sponsors. The chief guest, Indian High Commissioner to Kenya, Her Excellency Honorable Chitra Durai, please kindly join me on stage. Uh, uh, Starfield uh, Sport and OBU Academy for coming together to launch this uh, cricket tournament. Uh, coming from India, uh, you know, uh, everybody there uh, is crazy about cricket, and I know in Kenya uh, there's great love for cricket, and uh, you have a number of talented cricketers. Kenya came into the World Cricket uh, went up to the semi-final stage and that's still remembered by many people not just in Kenya but also in India. So uh, I think this venture especially what you're doing, bringing uh, children uh, between the age groups of 8 and 90 uh, to play the cricket tournament and not only bringing people from privileged backgrounds but also those from underprivileged backgrounds, I think it's a great gesture because sport uh, really unites us all and I'm sure you're going to get find a lot of talent and uh, we will try our very best to work with Cricket Kenya to bring to you, uh, you know, coaches uh, as and when we get a request, we'll work towards that. But uh, meanwhile, I wish you all the very best in your venture. And particularly because it's being headed by, I think, two very, very young men, I think that's really creditable that uh, the young generation is taking this forward. So all the very best, Asante Sana. Way back in the year 2003, I know everybody talks about the golden years of Kenyan cricket, which I think even uh, the, our chief guest has alluded to. The golden years of Kenya cricket where Kenya went up to the semi-finals of uh, the Cricket World Cup. We were all proud to be there. And you remember the stars that were pulled by none other than Collins of Buya, right in this field where we are today. And so after that great performance, that uh, a conscious decision was made among the Obuya brothers, and with some of us being consulted, that we needed an academy to give back to society because these were young people, the, the, the people that just seen being presented here, the stars. They were people who were, who were playing the game of cricket, had to stay somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, where these great fields are. They were supported by the community to play the game. And this, there was a conscious effort to give back to this community that had supported them to play cricket at the highest level. You've heard that some of them are playing in five, four, three, one cup. So they wanted to give back to society. And that's how this conscious effort was made to form an academy that will give back to society. And we formed the academy. The next question was, what kind of events will these young kids that are, going, are being taught in the academy play? And that's how this tournament was muted. Way back in 2005, some of us were approached that we needed to make this tournament a professional outfit. How do we do it? How can we make it a big tournament? I remember with a lot of nostalgia that the first ever press conference for the Wea Cricket Youth Cricket Tournament was held by then there was a very popular restaurant in town called Kengeles. How many of you remember Kengeles? Kengeles, somewhere in Quinante Street in the road. The first ever press conference or a launch like this one was done at Kengeles. We didn't know then that I to march into this big event that it had become. From then on, a lot has happened. The rest is history. 
the tournament has grown in leaps and bounds. Uh, from this tournament, we've had players coming all the way from Uganda to participate. We've had very, very many players who have come out of this tournament who have played in our national league. Some of them have managed to the national team. And I think we need to really give, give a big applause, a big applause for that. The Buya Cricket Academy has been a great tournament for over years. It has produced players not only in Kenya, but also in the neighboring country, Uganda. Obuya Cricket Academy, two years back, put a team in the league from Division 2, where Obuya Cricket Academy won the Division 2, was promoted to Division 1, and this year Obuya Cricket Academy will be playing in the Super League of the National League. Having achieved that, Obuya Cricket Academy has not also has not only achieved uh, given players to the Obuya Cricket Academy, we've also produced players for the other teams in the National League, the NPCA League. We have our young boys playing for various teams also. The national team, the current national team, the junior team, the under 19, which the competition which is just going on. Obuya Cricket Academy has produced five players out of the players who are playing in this Kenya Under-19 League, uh, Kenya Under-19 World Cup qualifier. But not only in Kenya alone, few boys who are playing in the Uganda Under-19, they play, they first played this tournament some previous years back, and we can see the uh, fruits of the tournament. Uh, if I can count. Nearly all the boys who are playing in Kenya and Uganda in the under World Cup qualifier, all of them have played this tournament in the previous years. Our vision is to make the tournament bigger and uh, to touch uh, the region, the East African region, not only East African region, also to touch the international teams. So far we've got interest in the next year. We've got two teams which have confirmed we, one will be coming from Zimbabwe and another one will be coming from South Africa, Cape Town. Just before I let you go, I, I have a burning question to ask you. I've wanted to ask you this for the longest time. You know, all three brothers got into cricket. When you three went to buy your kids, did you get a group discount? <laughs> Funny enough, when we were playing international cricket, all of us were sponsored by different companies. <laughs> So my heart is gladdened by the fact that this is an initiative that will broaden the base for cricket and this is what we require to see more and more coming into the game, particularly that this has been broadened to reach grassroots level and for underprivileged children to be given this opportunity, uh, I would like to lord all of those who have been responsible for taking such a bold step. Such bold steps cannot be taken without the support. And to all those sponsors whose names appear here uh, behind me, may I congratulate you uh, for seeing it fit uh, to put your money, uh, hard-earned money, in this project, which will only benefit not only Kenyan cricket, but world cricket in the long term. Uh, on behalf of the ICC, uh, I want to congratulate all of those who are involved this partnership between Starfield and the Wea Academy. May I wish you much success in the future and may many, many new young cricketers emerge. And what we need, no matter whether you're an official, whether you're a player, whether you're an administrator, whether you're a coach, an umpire, if you don't have the passion for this particular game, then the game will not go forward. It is the passion that we need, so when you are given a task, it is the passion with which you do the task, and to complete the task will ensure ultimate success. So I'd like to wish all of you much passion, keep the intensity, and I will follow this event uh, very closely. Thank you very much for this opportunity. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it from this event. Uh, now you may welcome yourselves, enjoy yourselves, and just just to highlight them on the good cause that they're doing. These guys are the guys who are taking the kids away from the PlayStations and bringing them onto the field to play. So a huge round of applause for the new week you can get in. It's going to be starting next week. Please do come support them. And if any of you would like to support them in any way, please do get in touch with them and support the great cause. Thank you.